Hello everyone, so this is my little Q&A video in celebration of reaching 5,000 subscribers on my channel. I asked you guys to leave me questions in my last video and it's just gonna be a little chatty video and I have some painting footage that you can watch while I answer your questions. So go ahead and get comfy and get something to drink. Um, I'm gonna be painting a scene from Spirited Away where Chihiro follows uh, Haku through these like flowers um, to her parents. So I hope you enjoy this video and I'm just gonna get started. The questions aren't gonna be in any specific order. I just kind of wrote them down randomly as I got them. Um, but yeah, the first question that I got was where do I get my ideas from? And um, I'm not super good at coming up with ideas, I feel like. Um, usually I just look on Pinterest um, to find inspiration or on Instagram. I think I follow a lot of bullet journaling um, accounts. So usually when I see something nice, I save it. Or on Pinterest, I have like a little board where I just pin any uh, like inspiring pictures. It's not necessarily bullet journal spreads, like whole spreads that I um, pin but just in general like pictures or photos that inspire me and usually I tend to go for like kind of naturey themes so for example last month I did an orange theme or I've done like peaches um, other just like flowers, eucalyptus, anything like that so I definitely get inspired by nature in general um, and sometimes I do really have like a hard time coming up with a theme and then I just kind of scroll through Pinterest or I look for what kind of flowers are in bloom in that specific season like I look for April flowers or um, sometimes I just look for like April aesthetic or something like that and then I come up with a theme that way but yeah it definitely varies a lot so yeah, I just try to consume a lot of content, I suppose, and I think that makes it a lot easier to come up with new ideas and themes that way. Alright, so the next question that I got was where am I from? Um, I'm from Germany, so I've lived in Germany my whole life. I pretty much always lived in the same city that I grew up in, uh, which is in the south of Germany in Bavaria. And um, yeah, I never really moved around a lot with my family, but I did move away um, to live in a student apartment um, just for studying because my university is about an hour away from where my parents live and it was just a little bit more convenient for me that way. But I am moving out at the end of the month and moving back in with my parents. The next question that I got is super interesting and it is what is my favorite spread or a favorite theme that I've done and this is super hard to choose. I think every time I make a new video I always say like oh this might be one of my new favorites um, but looking back I definitely loved the one that I did for May of last year. Um, it was a painting and I was super proud of how it came out at the time. Um, I probably wouldn't do anything like that again at this point but I definitely loved making it and I think the spreads turned out super cute as well but I think if I had to choose from like more recent ones that I've done um, I definitely loved the one that I did last month like the oranges and I also really loved October um, because I got the arch and olive acrylographs and I was just having so much fun with them um, so yeah one of those maybe and I think like favorite spreads I've done um, I definitely love like my habit trackers from last month and also some of the weekly spreads. It might just be because they're more recent, but I definitely loved making those and I think they're just super pretty. Another question that I got was how many journals do I have? And I wasn't super sure if you meant journals for bullet journaling specifically or just like in general journals but I do have five bullet journals in total. I started in 2018 and I used a Leuchtturm 1917 back then. So I had a black one when I first started and then I got the same one but in like a metallic bronze color for 2019. And then after that I switched to the Archer and Olive bullet journals. So I have three in total. The first one was a dark navy one that I used in 2020 um, for 2021 last year. I used my rosy journal and then this year I have a white one. 
and I also have a bunch of like random sketchbooks and just notebooks and stuff like that. They don't really have a specific purpose, but I do have one for my finances, so I just write down what I spend each day or a month. Um, I've been using it since the beginning of this year, but I'm not really sure if I'll keep using it because it is a little bit difficult to keep track of what you're spending each day, um, and it takes a lot of consistency, which I'm not really good with, so it's still a little bit of an experiment. And the reason I only have five bullet journals is because I only use one for one year. Um, I know a lot of people use two for each year, um, but usually my spreads are pretty compact. Um, I don't like to include a lot of other spreads that I don't really end up using. Um, I did get a question if I would include a mood tracker as well, and I don't think I will because when I did them in the past, I never really noticed that it was useful to me. So I don't really think I will include them in my future spreads because, um, yeah, I just want my bullet journal to be practical and actually useful to me. So <laughs> I don't know if I don't use a spread, I don't really see the point in making it. Um, but yeah, to answer your question shortly, I have five bullet journals and than just a bunch of random notebooks. Alright, so the next question is, am I a dog or a cat person? And I do love dogs, um, don't get me wrong, I think everybody pretty much loves dogs, um, but I definitely am more of a cat person, personally. The only pet that I had when I was younger was a guinea pig, and I loved him very much, but I always wanted a cat. But unfortunately, my mom didn't really want any, and also one of my brothers had a bit of an allergy, so that wasn't really a possibility for me. And yeah, I think once I actually move out for good, I guess, um, I would definitely want a cat, but only if I'm like settled into life, I suppose. Um, I wouldn't want to put a cat through like a lot of changes. Um, but yeah, I am more of a cat person. <laughs> So yeah, the next question that I got is do I memory keep or have a scrapbook for pictures or something? And unfortunately I don't. Um, I would love to do something like that. I think I have a lot of hobbies that are very like time consuming. So I don't really feel like I have the time to, you know, do another journal or do a lot of um, other hobbies because I just already have a lot that I'm doing. Um, but I would love to like do photo albums. Um, I do have a little Polaroid camera and I love collecting those little pictures. And I usually just place them in my room somewhere to look at, but I think it's so cute to have like an actual album that you can like flip through and look back on what you did. One of my best friends actually has one and she always makes it look super pretty. Um, so yeah, I would definitely love to make something like that in the future. But yeah, at the moment I don't have a scrapbook or anything like that. Then the next question that I got was where do I get my supplies and what are nice and affordable art supplies that I use. Um, so I've definitely collected a lot of art supplies over the years. I've been drawing since like 2012 maybe or 2010. Um, so I've definitely collected a lot over the years. Um, I did invest in a lot of Tombow brush pens and stuff like that. And for me that was just like a priority I guess. So I spent my money on a lot of art supplies and I got some stuff for Christmas and stuff like that. But recently I got sent the Ohuhu markers, which I reviewed in my last video, and they are definitely a lot more affordable. So if you're looking for an alternative to the Tombos, I would probably recommend them. Um, you can go check them out. And as for where I get my art supplies, I usually just go to like local art stores. So I would definitely go looking for like small art shops or something like that because sometimes you can find um, brands that you don't know already and maybe they have great markers and stuff like that. For example, I found some other markers from Zig um, just at a random like local art store and I think they're a little bit more affordable than the Tombos but they're very similar as well. So yeah, I would just try to find little stores where you can just kind of try out the pens and stuff and see if you like them and yeah don't just go for like super popular brands because they can definitely be a little bit overpriced.
I feel like I've been rambling quite a lot, but I do have two more questions. And one of them is, am I currently in uni? So I did graduate from university at the end of January slash um, beginning of February. So yeah, I just graduated pretty much. Um, I was studying graphic design and I got my bachelor's degree. Um, I did like a three-year school program before I was studying at university. So they kind of shortened the period that I had to study for um, to three semesters because I had already done three years before that. Um, so yeah, I just graduated and I only had to do three semesters. But I am also planning on getting my master's degree at the same university. Hopefully I get accepted, but it's for like game design slash uh, character design which I've always been really interested in. So yeah, I'm hoping that that will go well and that study program will also take another three semesters. And then the last question is always an interesting one and it is what inspired me to start bullet journaling. So I definitely think I've had a pretty similar experience to other people, but I think the first time that I heard of bullet journaling was through Amanda Rage Lee on YouTube, I'm sure you know her, um, but I think I just saw a video of her like talking about bullet journaling or just doing like a spread and I've always spent a lot of time on YouTube so I think I just kind of randomly found her and I just thought it looked like a lot of fun and so I just kind of copied what she was doing um, for about I think maybe two to three months and after that, I thought, you know what, maybe I could come up with my own themes. And that's just kind of how it all started. So I think the first one I did was for January of 2018. Um, so I did it for a whole year and then I just kind of kept going. So yeah, and now we're in 2022 and I'm still doing it, uh, which is kind of crazy to think about, but it's just been something that's kind of therapeutic for me. So uh, I don't know, it's just, always been fun and I love to share it with other people and see what other people come up with and I think the bullet journaling community is just such a lovely place with a lot of really genuinely nice people um, so yeah I'm really glad to be a part of it and I'm really happy to have all the support that I have I never really thought that people would be like that interested in what I'm doing in my bullet journal but I just, I don't know, I, it makes me really happy to see how you guys react every time, um, see your guys' comments, read them, answer every one of them. <laughs> I really try to get back to everyone because I don't really get like hundreds of comments every day. I just get a couple and I think that's perfectly fine. Um, so I can just answer every one of them. And yeah, I just love interacting with you guys. So yeah. If you do have any more questions for me, definitely leave them down below. Um, I can just answer them in one of my next videos. I am already currently working on my April setup, so I'm hoping that I'll be able to post it um, a little bit sooner probably because I'm moving out at the end of the month, so it'll be a bit more stressful. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping I can get that done in time. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this very chatty, um, <laughs> kind of rambly video. But I had a lot of fun answering you guys' questions and I hope it was interesting. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the painting as well. Um, I was struggling quite a bit to be honest, but I ended up really loving the process of creating this one. I had a few failed attempts before this, <laughs> I just want to mention that because, um, you know, it always seems like it's perfect or whatever, but it really isn't. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you like it and I guess I will see you in my next video. Bye!